Hello everyone. Hello everyone. You all welcome back to this channel. What I have uh, today is how to uh, share with you on how you can make this beautiful uh, top and trust. You will really find this tutorial helpful. So let's go. Now I have this fabric folded into four. So I have it four pieces here. You can see this one is two, three and four. So, the first thing I'm going to do right here is to measure the length of this top and I will be using 20 inches as the length. Twenty inches. So I will also extend it to this and I mark twenty inches from the shoulder line to the down part. So the next thing I'm going to do is to connect these lines together. So, as you can see, I've connected the lines together. So, I will now go to the upper part here. So, here I'm going to measure the neck width. I will be using the neck width of um, 3 quarter of an inch. So, I have it here. Lest I forget, this is my center front for the front piece and for the back piece. So right now, I haven't marked the shoulder width, I mean the neckline width. The next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and mark the depth, the depth of the neckline. So for the back, I will be using 1.5 as the depth. Now for the front, the depth of the front neckline, I will be using 2.5 inches. So the next thing is just to connect, is just to create a curve across this line. So I create a slant curve. This is for the front, then for the back, I also create a slant curve. So can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure uh, the half of the shoulder line. In this case, the shoulder line is uh, 15 inches. 15 inches divided by 2 gives me 7.5. So I'm going to add extra 5.5 inches. So 7.5 plus 0 0.5 will give me 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches right here. So this is the half of my shoulder line. So from there, I'm going to mark the slope, the shoulder slope. So I'll be using one point. Let me use one inch. So I'll be using just one inch for the slope, for the shoulder slope. So from there, I'm going to connect this point, this neckline to the shoulder slope. Can you see? So, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to mark uh, the ammo uh, line. So, for the ammo line, I will be using 5.5 uh, inches. It's okay. So, I'm going to connect 
this point to this line here. So now the next thing I'm going to do right now is to measure from that point, from this point here, I'm going to make connect to this point. And before I do that, so I'm going to mark the width of my the the, the down part. So I will be using 13 inches. So here is my 13 inches and I've marked it here. So all I need to do is just to connect this point to this line here. Sorry, this fabric is a bit um, light and that is why I have to be careful in marking it so that it doesn't get scattered. So as you can see, just to connect the lines together. Can you see? So have a connector, just bear with me the way it is. So have a connect these lines together. The next thing I'm going to do right here. So as you can see, I've started cutting. I also cut down part here. So you can see the line I made here. I look for the midpoint of this line. This is the initial line. So I look for the midpoint, so I came in by one inch or three quarter of an inch. After that, then I make a curve right here. So this is the current line I'll be using. So from here, I'm going to cut. And here is the neckline for the back, which I've cut already. Now, I'm going to remove this. So, I'm going to, I haven't cut the, the back neckline, so I'm going to remove it. Here is it. So, I'm going to keep it aside. Then, I, I work on the front one. Here is the front one. So, I reshape the neck. You can see this is for the the front depth and neckline. So I'm going to cut it out. So here is it. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, having cut the bodies, I'm going to keep it aside now. So I want to cut the sleeve. So the sleeve is going to be two layers. So I will be cutting. So you can see I place it, the tip here, that's where I place my, so I'm going to cut 10, I'm going to mark it 10 inches. So I begin to roll it. Can you see? I proceed. You can see that here is constant. I didn't move it from there. Here. So I mark 10. 
Then also here, I mark 10, 10 inches. Then I proceed. I also go ahead and mark 10 inches. I proceed. I mark 10 inches. Here as well, I mark 10 inches. So right now I'm going to connect these broken lines together. So I'm going to cut it out like this. So I'm going to open it. So this is what I have. And you see. So I'm going to cut another one because it's going to be two layers. So this is the first layer. And you can see it's two pieces. So right now, I'm going to place another fabric and cut the second layer, which is going to be the shorter one this time. Okay, now... As you can see, I've sealed the shoulder line. So the next thing for me is just to, to tape using my, my bias tape to tape it around the neckline. And here is my bias tape. So that, this is what I'm going to use to tape it around. So as you can see, I've stitched uh, the neckline. I've used my bias tape to stitch it around and it's okay. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to turn it to the wrong side like this. Then the edge here, so the edge here, I'm going to stitch. So I'm going to fold it two times, one, one, two, like this. So I'm going to stitch round like this from one end to the other on the same side. Also, I will do likewise to the other side here. Okay, I will stitch it. So as you can see, I've stitched the two sides. Can you see? I've stitched it all around. And also to the other side, I've also stitched it. Can you see? All around. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, or the sleeve, I'm going to stitch right now. I'm going to stitch this edge. So I'm going to fold it two times. One, two. So the two pieces is what I will be doing right now. So I just stitch this edge here. So to the four pieces which I cut. So to cut the second layer, I'm going to refold it again. Like this. So I have one, two, three, four, four pieces. One, two, then three, four. So right now I'm going to mark. So the length of the second layer is going to be seven difference of three, that is seven. So I'm going to start from this edge here. I'm going to mark seven inches. So I have it here. So I proceed. Seven inches. I proceed. Seven inches. Seven inches all round. So the next thing is just to cut, tracing this broken line to cut it out. So I mean, not, I, I'm not bothering myself connecting the lines. 
So if you're a beginner, I will advise you to connect the lines first before you cut it out. So I'm going to open it right now. So you see, this is what I have. see what I have so the next thing right now is to proceed with the bodies off of the fabric so right now I'm going to place it right side to right side both the front piece and the back piece right side to right side so I'm going to place it like this So the next thing I'm going to do is just to seal this um, shoulder line and I'll see that's the next thing I'll be doing right now. So as you can see right here, my sleeve are ready, as you can see, two pieces of the longer one and then two pieces for the shorter one. Now what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to fold for the longer one, I'm going to fold into two equal parts like this. So, I haven't folded it. I'm going to match. It's either I notch or I mark it, the center point. So, let me just notch it a bit. This is the center point. So, here is the center point of this end, longer one. Now, for the shorter one, I will also do likewise. I will fold it into two equal parts. Okay. So, I haven't folded it into two equal parts. I will also notch the midpoint so i'm going to notch the midpoint or i mark it so let me notch just a little to give me the center point so haven't got the center point so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to match this center point of the smaller one to this okay this is right side and this is right side so i'm going to just place it on each other like this okay so haven't placed it on each other like this so I'm, i will just go ahead and stitch this one to this with 0 0.3 inches that is less than 0 0.5 so i will just stitch after stitching then i come back to place it on the main fabric the bodies so right now as you can see i've stitched the the shorter one to the main sleeve as you can see it right here can you see see and also the second um, sleeve so the next thing i'm going to do right now is to take the bodies so here is the bodies this is the back panel and this is the front panel okay so what i'm going to do right now from this point from the shoulder line here i'm going to mark one inch inward so i'm going to measure one inch so i place my uh, measuring tape i mark one inch inward okay so i mark one inch inward like this so from this point i'm going to measure 10 inches straight down so i have my 10 inches right here so i'm going to mark so i mark 10 inches okay to meet what i to meet the shoulder line the mark here on the shoulder line So, exactly what I did here is what I'm going to do here. So, from this point here, I'm going to come in by one inch. So, I come in by one inch also right here. So, I'm going to measure from that point, this shoulder line, I'm going to measure 10 inches downward. Just like I did here. So, I mark 10 inches. Downwards. So I will just gently 
I'm going to connect the lines together. Because this end fabric is a bit and slippery, soft. So what I did, this is the front panel, like I said. What I did here, I will also repeat it here. So from this same point, I'm going to mark 10 inches downwards. So here is it. So from this point, I'm going to connect straight to meet this line here. So, and after that, I will repeat what I had, what I did here to this. So, as you can see, the lines has been marked already, both on the front panel and on the back uh, panel. You can see on this side too, the same thing is being repeated. So, the next thing I'm going to do right now is the center point which I mark on this sleeve um, the other time, which I notch. Here is it. So, I'm going to place it right on this same shoulder line. So because this is going to be the center the center point so from this i'm going to place it like this but it's going to be right side to right side this is the right side and this is the right side so i'm going to place it like this okay then i extend like this so i extend it like this you can see it's of equal length with what I mark and of the sleeve. So I will just use pin and pin it down, okay, to hold it. I will also do likewise. I use my pin to pin it down on that line, on that line, on the line which I marked. You can see it is being placed on that, on the line that I marked. So from there, then I stitch. After stitching, this is how it's going to come. So it will come like this. After stitching it, then it will be like this. Okay? And what I, I, uh, I will do here is what I will be repeating also here. So everything will now fall here. So you can see right side to right side. And the same thing will be applicable to the other side. So as you can see right here, I've stitched it. And this is how it's going to fall. Okay, and also I've stitched it to the other side, and this is how it's going to fall. Okay. So right now, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to pick it from the center point like this. This is the front panel. So I'm going to fold this into two equal parts like this. So I'm going to mark the center point. So, I mark the center point or I notch it. So, I'm going to notch it. So, I'm going to notch the center point, making sure that it's equal before I do this. So, right now, I mark, I notch rather. So, have a notch. The second part also, that is the other piece, I'm going to do likewise. I fold it into two equal parts. Two equal parts. Then I notch it to give me the center point. Okay, I'm going to notch here. Or you mark it. It's either you mark it or you notch it. Just to determine, just to give the center point. So right now, the next thing I'm going to do is, from that center point, I'm going to mark 4 inches on my right hand side. Or let me use 3.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 3.5 inches on this side. Then, on that center point, I will mark three and a half inches also. So, which means the length from this to this place is seven inches. So, from this place, I'm going to use like one inch and fold it on it. Like this. Or, if you don't want, in order not to get confused, so I'm going to mark one inch from there or 1.5 inch from here. Either 1 inch or 1.5. I mark it. So I'm going to fold it a little. 
you can see so i fold it like this so i use my pin to pin it down so i pin it down so i will also fold this one in also on that point so i also use my pin to pin it down So what I did here is what I will be repeating on this on this other side too, the second piece. So I'm going to look for the midpoint. Here is the midpoint. I've already notched it. So from there, I'm going to mark 3.5 inches on my right hand side. I have it here. So I also mark 3.5 inches on my left hand side, like this. So I mark it. Here is it. So right now I'm going to mark one inch from that point. I mark one inch. Also here, I mark one inch. So I will do likewise. I will also use this to overlap this like this. Then I use my pin to pin it down. So I pin it down. So from that one inch which I mark on this, I will use it to overlap where this gets to or where this uh, stops. So I will also use my pin to pin it down like this. So the next thing I'm going to use right, I'm going to do right now is to take my belt. So I'm going to place my belt from this center point. I place my belt, I sew it to this point and I will also sew it to this point. So that's the next thing. So here is my belt. The width of this belt is either between four to five uh, inches for the width because it's going to, uh, I'm going to fold it into two. So if it is five inches, when you fold it into two like this and you remove like five inches to stitch it at the end, you have like two inches. But if it is four inches, when you fold it like this, at the end of the day, you'll be having um, uh, 1.5 inches as the width so in this case like in this case i have um, five inches so i'm going to measure it for you to see now i have um, five inches so i'm going to look for the center point of this um, of this um, belt so i'm going to fold it into two equal parts i fold it equally like this so by the time i fold it equally like this i trace the center point to the other side so here is the center point so at this center point I'm, i will just go ahead and and notch a, a little so i'm going to notch it a little like this okay now from this notch this gives me uh the clue that this is the center point of this belt so now i'm going to mark this with the center point of this okay i match it like this so right now i'm going to stitch from that center point, I'm going to stitch using like 0 0.5 inches. So I stitch it down to this place. And I also do likewise to the other side. After stitching it to this side, then the next thing is for me to just fold it in like this. Then I stitch it straight. After that, then the remaining one, I will use it to turn it in to the back. Then I stitch it. That's all. Now, as you can see, after stitching it to the bodies, can you see? Then I just fold it in like this. Then I stitch this to close this up. So there is a little space here. So it is from that little space that I'm going to turn it out. So right now I'm going to turn it out from um, the edge here. So I use a not too sharp object. You can use your pair of scissors like I'm doing right now. Then you turn it inside out like this. Okay. So the next thing right now is just to fold this in. Okay. And I stitch. So I will just fold it in like this. Then I stitch round. So I have my belt ready. And that is what I will do also to the other side here. I will also turn it inside out okay yeah 
here is it so and uh, you make sure that this pointed edge comes out you can use a sharp object at this point you can use your pin so that you make sure that this pointed edge comes out so after that is just to sew it down okay we just go ahead and seal down then i have the belt ready and what i did here or what i've just done here you can also repeat it the second one so but in my own case i will be using a tiny one on the other side so i have the width here this width here you can use 1.5 inches as the width now i'm going to measure but in my own case here i have two inches so by the time i fold and fold so i will be having like just one or three quarter of an inch as the width so that is that all right so far so good i've come to the end of this tutorial can you see here is the here is the front um, piece and this is the back piece now look at the belt i've fixed the belt okay and here is it this is the back piece so the next thing i'm going to do right now is just to close it so i'm going to turn it right side to right side so i'm going to close it from the side seam okay so i'm going to come down from this part like uh, one inch so from this place i'm going to close i'm close to like um, five inches so there is going to be a little space like this little space like three inches or so so i will close it like five inches or six inches and this is what i'm going to repeat at the other seam here so i believe you have find this tutorial helpful thank you thank you for taking your time to watch this video thanks so much please don't forget to share this video out to your loved ones and then um, or your friends and if you have any question regarding this uh, tutorial or this uh, yes tutorial, please kindly drop your question in the comment section. And if you have any comments, please you can feel free to drop your comment. Thank you very much. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you. So till I come your way again. Bye for now.